So I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but I'm super excited about it because it's kind of a different perspective of camera gear acquisition, AKA gas. Not the gas that comes out of your booty, but the gas that just says, we need more gear. I need to acquire the latest and greatest technology. And this is, di this is different because I, I have that so badly. I see new gear. I see things like the Sony ZV-E1 and I, I want it. I see uh, the Sony 35G Master and I want it. I see so many different things. I'm like, ah, oh, I would love that. I would love the ZV-E1. I would love the Sony A7R5. I would love all the latest and greatest tech in one thing. But what I've noticed is that I can often get so focused on the gear that I forget the gear that I have is actually really, really great. It's not about what you have. It's about how you use it. So today what we're talking about is that I'm going on a little bit of a buying freeze. I'm going to try and limit myself for the remainder of the year. That's This is currently filming in July for the remainder of the year to buy two more pieces of camera gear. I'll rent gear, I'll use new gear, that's perfectly fine, I'm not against new gear, but I want to focus on the tools that I have, not the tools that I wish I had. So really what motivated this buying freeze are these two lenses right here. This is the 35-1.8, this is the 55-1.8, and I absolutely love both of these lenses, but they have a G Master of a 35 and they have a G Master, two G Masters of a 50. And I've been doing everything I can over the past couple weeks to get rid of these lenses. And all of that is for the purpose of going to buy one more lens. Now I understand that there is technology at play that that is amazing. They have, they've made amazing things like the, the G Master 50 millimeter 1.2 and the 1.4 are amazing lenses. They are beautiful lenses and I would love to own them, but I own a 55, and 55, this lens for being about 10 years old, it holds up in an incredible, incredible way. I love this lens, it looks great for photos, and it works great for video. I used this at a video shoot a couple weeks ago, and I was blown away at how well this was handling anything that I was throwing at it. And it fits so small and compact on my FX3, and the RS3 Pro, it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. The hardest thing was that it was difficult to balance because this is so light. Secondly, this 35. This 35 is no slouch. And in fact, it actually, I think, performs better for video than the G Master. It takes better, pic the G Master takes better pictures, but this, I think, performs better for video and I'm doing a lot of hybrid shooting and so I know this takes incredible pictures, I need to make sure that I have something incredible for video as well. So, instead of trying to sell these two lenses to buy the 35 G Master, I am going to go on a bit of a buying freeze and not buy more than two pieces of new gear for the rest of the year. And that sounds crazy because the Prime Day just passed, there are so many deals, then there's Black Friday, and there are so many incredible deals that are coming up just around the corner. But I have pretty great stuff here, and at one point, whenever I bought it, I knew that it was fantastic, and I knew that it was great. And it hasn't been that long. With the exception of the 55 Zeiss, this lens is freaking old, comparatively speaking. But the 3518 is not that old. It is actually amazing. And then I've got this bad boy 85 that's amazing. And whenever I pair these three lenses with either my FX3 or my A7 III, I've got everything I need. I just wanna let you know that you don't need that brand new lens. You don't need that brand new camera. You might need a new laptop. You might need a new light. You might need something that's not as exciting. The worst thing that I had to buy just last week, I had to buy two new Sony batteries just because I needed them. Like one of my batteries just just choked. It was, it was a goner. And so if I was buying one, I figured I might as well buy two just in case that happens again because my other batteries were the same age. So I just bought two brand new batteries and that sucked. Those batteries are freaking expensive and I understand why because they're great and they last forever, but it sucked. I hated buying batteries. Batteries are just not a sexy purchase whenever we're in this world where we can just get something down to all the way to 1.2 or I've got this FX3. Uh, the last thing I want to buy is a battery. I've been spending too much money on gear and the reality is clients don't know whenever I go down to 1.2, 1.4 or even 4.0. So 
that's really for me that's for you gear snobs don't buy that brand new lens don't buy that brand new camera use what you have right now and see how you can produce better and better content better and better products for the people that you're working with for the people that you're working for because ultimately remember the client doesn't know if you're shooting at 1.2 2.8 4.0 5.6 or even freaking f22 they don't know it matters to you, it matters to me. The client wants something that is beautiful, wants something that is professional. So don't buy that thing right now. Challenge yourself with the gear that you already have because the gear is not gonna make you better. It might produce a better image, but if a blurry picture is still a blurry picture. So that's it, that's all I got for you. I just wanna challenge you. Don't blow your money on new gear thing. It's gonna fix all your problems. Learn to use what you have and then eventually upgrade whenever you need to. But it's also gonna save you a lot of money if you do that. That's it for me, subscribe if you're not already, like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below the pieces of gear that you think I should buy for the rest of the year, and we'll see you in the next one.